hey welcome to my prime moon child my name is kaylee this is a deck unboxing and quick look through look through look through the urban tarot um i discovered this deck uh, about 18 months ago maybe two years ago can't remember um it was definitely last early part of last year if it wasn't the year before end of the year before um I bought a book called Clearing the Tarot by Cassandra So. So I think that was last year, actually. Um, and it, it features the artwork of this deck. Um, this is worth a read for anybody, Clearing the Tarot. Um, for anything that is... Um, it, and, and the foreword was by Beth Maiden, Beth Maiden, which is what sold me because I love Beth Maiden. Her blog is amazing. She ha oh, She's just amazing. She has a little red tarot and the way she runs her business is just inspirational um so yeah this this book was what I, I i've been i've read several times actually but um i'm reading it again hence the bookmark pretty much in the front and it just gives a different perspective of how to read the tarot with regards to lgbtq plus um perspective um but yeah i mean i i yeah the world isn't binary and it isn't all straight and we, that should be celebrated and also tarot is a reflection of an internal energy and external energy within the universe and that energy is equally valid present um and it should be appreciated and, and learned and educated about so um yeah i'm all for it so anyway this is the urban tarot which obviously the artwork features in cassandra snow's book um let's have a look at it so i'll just take the plastic off so this is a first look at it for me um, as a whole deck in my possession um so yeah you have the urban tarot it looks a bit like the underground map <laughs> for the london underground with these colored thing colored um circles and, and and networks coming off of it um so it's by robin scott and then there's the bottom of the box the side and the top and then on the back a map to your inner city, a love letter in 78 cards, a set of symbols made to aid the modern seeker of truth, insight, magic, living in the and magic living in the urban landscape. This unique vision of the tarot comes with an 84 page guide with the deck with commentary by the artist, the urban tarot.com. So it has these um, side little loops on the two part box. If that open, it has the uh, infinity symbol just plain red on the inside on the side it's got like a a map a road maps imagery um so here we go you have the urban tarot booklet a guide to the deck so it has an introduction it's through us games this one um this deck structure is based heavily on the soft tarot conceptualized by alistair crowley and painted by lady frida harris lady frida harris between 1938 and 43 I'm not overly familiar with the Thoth system, so it is something that has actually pulled me in lately. So maybe this is getting this deck finally is a sign that maybe I want to start having a look into it. Although I don't completely uh, agree with everything of Crowley's and his his background, the Thoth system does seem to have a deeper knowledge, which obviously um, they say the Rider Waite is quite superficial compared to Thoth. So it might be worth starting to research that from a personal point of view. Um, a guide to the symbol, so the infinite fire water air and earth and then it has uh, the major arcana so it has the number and the name uh, a bit about the card there and completed in january 2000 so it's got when they completed the artwork as well in there i love that model robert scott completed january 2000 oh i can't wait to have a look at these uh the mage so i will go through them all so the ma major arcana is all like that um Let's have a look and then we go into the mine the wands cups each card has their own thing swords and then we have discs and the courts are let's have a look knight queen prince and princess I love that knight queen prince and princess okay so is the prince and prince i oh, see now i'm like oh okay this is different does it have anything about the courts in there no ah, i'll have a look i'm gonna have can't wait to play with this now that's pulled me right in intrigue 
So, um, this is inside. You have been told that there is no magic in your city. You have been told that the world is grey, cold and sterile. You have heard that the time of miracles has passed, that the wondrous has been forgotten. What do you believe? This deck is a guide for the 21st century seeker, struggling to find insight and understanding in an urban environment. It is set a set of ancient symbols designed to help you see the miraculous in the modern and the mundane. Board the train line that eats its own tail and journey with us. Feel the power pulsing below the pavement. Move to the music of traffic and breathe in the smells of smoke and sweat of hot pizza and the impossible. Within these cards, you will find the familiar and the fantastic sharing of a four-storey walk-up apartment where the avenues of dream and reality cross all aboard and then it's got the symbols in each of the bits there i love that and i did say it was roadmaps and 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 oh my god look it's a map on the back urban tarot um let me just get this plastic open I have my handy little scissors there here Okay, so Urban Tarot by Robin Scott. I created the Urban Tarot based upon the belief that the ideas and truths referred to by the tarot are eternal and universal. Some of the images and symbols that have become connected to the cards may no longer resonate with modern readers as they once did. The Urban Tarot is an attempt to reclaim the power of the old magic and bring it within the reach of the 21st century seeker of truth. Too often we are told that magic and wisdom belong only to the forgotten forests, the places untouched by human hands, and to ages lost, long lost to memory. I reject this idea. I look around my world and I see the beauty, the wonder, the magic in the metropolis, the power under the pavement. This deck is a love letter to my city, my island, and my first muse, um, New York City. It is dedicated to my beautiful wife, Amy, who makes everything possible. With love and gratitude to all of you who helped make this dream unlikely dream a reality, R. Scott. And then it's got uh, a bit about the deck structure um, and then the symbol. So it's got that first bit that's in. So you can take just the deck and play with it um, with the guidebook. It's the same information as in the guidebook. Um, so we have the Fool, the Mage, the High Priestess. The Empress, the Emperor, the Hierophant, the Lovers, the Chariot, Justice, in the Eight, uh, Hermit, the Wheel of Fortune, Strength, the Hanged Man, Death, Art, the Devil, the Tower, the star, the moon, the sun, I love that, the aeon, uh, the universe, ace of wands, dominion, virtue, so this is three of wands, so we're wands, four, completion, strife, victory, seven is valor, eight is swiftness, nine is fortitude, ten is oppression, Knight of Wands is the rock star, the public defender for the queen, the prince of wands, the journalist, and the princess is the dancer. Ace of Cups, and then love for two, abundance for three, luxury, four, five is disappointment, pleasure is six, seven is debauch, eight is indol indolence, indolence, nine is happiness, Satiety, the ten. The seducer is the knight of cups. The queen of cups is the therapist. The prince of cups is the filmmaker. The princess is the costume designer. Ace of swords, two, peace. Three is sorrow. Four, truce. Five, defeat. Six, science. Seven, futility. Eight, interference. Nine, cruelty. Ten, ruin. Knight of Swords, the Game Master. Queen of Swords, the Painter. The Hacker is the Prince of Swords. The Activist is the Princess of Swords. And then we go into the Discs, the Ace. The Change is two of Discs. Works, three of Discs. Four for Power. Five, Worry. Six, Success. Seven, Failure. Eight, Prudence. Nine, Gain. 
Wealth, the Ten. Then we have the Knight of Discs, the Gourmet Chef. The Matriarch is the Queen of Discs. The Prince of Discs is the Day Trader. And the Kindergarten Teacher is the Princess of Discs. Size-wise, they are larger than traditional tarot. They are probably longer than an Oracle deck. And obviously, uh, in ratio, width-wise... I've just realised another deck that I have gone through today also has the same wording. So I'm assuming that is a soft deck as well, which is a clear sign that I clearly need to go and have a look at that. Sometimes the universe tells us things we need to know in a way we didn't expect. But yeah, I mean, I have quite um, I'm quite a, a large re grip so I can I can grip them and shuffle. Um, if you have smaller hands, you might struggle with these. The texture of the cards is uh, matte on them. Oh, I love that. Um, they're quite thin, bendy, but they do go back to shape. So, um, yeah. Shuffle brilliantly. There's no sticking. There's no... They want to pop. They want to tell me something. So clearly this is the one I need to work with next. I love it. I love it. I think it's beautiful. And the artwork is so unique. So unique with its own... I can see why they used it for Queering the Tarot as a deck for the images for the cards I, I really get it it's beautiful um so yeah that is the urban tarot by robin scott it took years of work and you can tell by the quality of the artwork i don't know why it's taken me so long to get it but i'm glad i have it in my life now and obviously this is an opportunity to use it to to investigate the thoth system tarot system which does vary a little bit from the Rider Waite Smith system equally so does Tarot de Marseille. So that is another one I want to go and have a look at. So there you go. Anyway, if you have any questions or comments, please, as always, let me know down below and I will see you again soon. Bye for now.